It's unlike anything we've experienced or seen before. I'd like to give it to my colleague, my dear friend, and my brother Kamalasan. Oh! I thought he was the first thing, if he enters any house, you'll think it's an income tax election. That's how we do. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> Actually, I'm like this because of all the food he's fed me. <laughs> <laughs> when Nagi first came and was talking about the idea, this was much before any of this materialized. He was, it's Kalki, you, we all know about the coming of an avatar, we've heard it through childhood as stories, and a filmmaker actually trying to make that in the science fiction world, and had imagined you on day one as the Ashwatthama. So what was your reaction to that? When Nagi came and explained to me the idea, uh, for a long time after he'd left, I was thinking, what the hell has Nagi been drinking? <laughs> to think of something like this, it was absolutely something outrageous. And with some of the visuals that you've seen just now, it's just unbelievable to, uh, to have somebody conceive a project uh, which is so futuristic and so possible. And during the making of the film, we realized that uh, no matter what he thought of, he actually got all the material, all the effects, every kind of visual or vision that he had. And, and that really has been an amazing experience. For me to be just a part of it uh, has been an experience I'll never forget. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir, over to you. I mean, your veteran's a really small word. And encyclopedia also felt like a silly word once I said it. In your plethora of cinema, you've watched so many filmmakers grow, create different roles with you. This was science fiction, and it had mythology in its play, and it had a filmmaker who was really young, and if all of you know the looks of Nagi, he doesn't look anything like a filmmaker. Uh, I'll tell you a truth, today is actually a lost kid from Shambhala who grew up in Hyderabad. So how did he actually narrate this to you, sir, and what was your reaction with it? I'm used to these kind of... Uh, ordinary looking people who do extraordinary things. My boss, my mentor was one such man. He, he looked like a government official. I thought, he'd, first thing, if he enters any house, you'll think it's an income tax rate. That's how it looked. But uh, I've seen what he was capable of from the kind of films he did. I think Ek Dujay Kelly was his 60th or 70th film. So I'm quite, I was not surprised. I'm, I don't underestimate these ordinary looking guys. They have a depth to them that doesn't show unless you talk to them. And I did have the opportunity of talking to him, man a few words, and uh, that's about uh, the, the succinct way of putting forward your idea if it extends to movies, great, ideas will translate better. It's, it when, it's when they don't know how to present it that great ideas become ordinary movies. But this guy knew how to present an idea, which as uh, Amaji said, you, first thing you want to ask is what you've been smoking or what you've been drinking. But uh, that, that's how great ideas are formed. I mean, ordinary people will doubt it and then they'll start respecting it. I could see a bit of that, and uh, my only, I was moaning backstage to uh, <laughs> Amiji about, I always wanted to play bad man because the bad man gets to do all the good things in films, <laughs> where the heroes are singing romantic songs and waiting for the heroine where he can just go ahead and do what he wants. But, I thought, I'm going to play the bad man, so it's going to be fun. But then, like, uh, he wanted to be different. And I'm almost like a sage in this film with, with a bad idea. <laughs> Sir, and the look you had, there was one shot of you in the promo. And then that just stunned pretty much the whole country. And you have so many different looks that you consistently keep creating. I remember Nagi before he took the flight for the look test. He was saying, dude, I'm feeling really silly. What am I going to talk to Mr. Kamlasan about look and get up? I'm just going to ask him to do it. Let, can we know how that happened? 
That's what he told you, but yeah. we kept talking about it because we had a lot to talk about and also not look like something else, which I've done already, or somebody else has done already. Now, I, I thought I have a fantastic idea. I had not seen any of the images of this film. So I thought I would dress myself up in such a way people will turn around and look at me. And I got an idea. I would do some research and come, oh, that Amaji is doing that. <laughs> what you came up <laughs> with, <laughs> he's already doing it. Then I'll go cursing myself and I'll think about it. And then I'll say, I'll come with an armor. Oh, that Prabhasa has got. So I, 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 I didn't want to be pregnant in the film. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have... <laughs> <laughs> I would have tried that as well. But uh, then finally, I with... The convincing at that too. <laughs> <laughs> but with a good director, even that is possible. Yeah. But this get-up took a long time. We traveled to L.A., failed a couple of times before we arrived on the first uh, acceptable look for the director. So I think uh, it, it's a collaboration, and, and I think and hope, still uh, hoping that the audience will react the same way as we did when we saw the first look. Awesome, sir. Thank you. We went over to you. I don't know. You, okay, it's you are now one of the biggest names in cinema. Clearly, what is it like working with? One, two, three, do what, what do you do on set? What's your... Yeah. First, I should thank uh, producer and... We Maggie. touch each other's feet. He <laughs> <laughs> never allows me to do that, but I... I... Sir. <laughs> Prabhas, be honest now. <clears throat> yeah. First They're all I ragging you, Nubhav. I can yeah. see that, I can see that. You're pulling his leg <clears throat> on set. He's, my friend's an introvert, sir. He's very all-powerful in the movies, but he's really an introvert and sweet man. You know, but what's wrong with touching his feet? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, boss, what's up? How is it working with, I think, line on each? Yeah. So I should thank um, Dadgaru and Nagigaru for giving me an opportunity to work with such greatest legends. It's like bigger than dream. And I don't know what to say. I was like, first I met <laughs> Amitabh sir and I touched his feet. He said, don't do it. If you do it, I'll do it. I said, sir, please. I can't even think. <laughs> See, we grew up watching you. My uncles had your hairstyle. He's the first actor in the country who reached every part of the country. South, North, we all know in Telugu, Tamil, you know, we, had, we saw like Amitabh Bachchan's hairstyle, that hairstyle tall. Any tall people, they call Amitabh Bachchan. In South, he's the, he's the first actor, I think, who reached like that. And Kamal, sir, I, when his Sagar Sangam came, I, want, I, I asked my mother, I want his dress. My cousins, if we had, in the we had a tummy, and they used to put a cloth on his, their stomach, and they used to act in front of us. Like, see, and I'm working with them. This is like something unbelievable, and uh, thanks. And the lovely lady to your left. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, and the, the I always wanted to. The fact to that he has said more than two sentences, we should be celebrating. Please, big round of applause, please. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Deepika, I wanted to work with her always, and uh, some some actors, actors who can reach around such an international level, and such a beautiful, gorgeous, and superstar, and a great actress. It's, and it's beautiful to work with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it, I think. <laughs> Actually, I'm like this because of all the food he's fed me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start by Don't. talking about that. Did all of you eat great food on set? Uh, no? Yes, courtesy. This man? Yes. Every day. And it got to a point where it wasn't you just food ate. coming from home. There was like full catering service. So the highlight of the day almost became what is Prabhas feeding everyone. And for those who know him well, know um, that he feeds from the heart. So, Awesome. So Deepika, when I was speaking to Nagi, I said, who do I talk about the story and who should reveal most things? He said, I think Deepika should speak about it. So we see you 
caring. I mean, at first, at first I thought you were like really in character trying to do this, but can you talk about your role and the film? Why? Why? You didn't ask any of them that question. But I know, Nagi put that in me. He said, she is the one you should ask. Can't. I think he said a lot about the movie and the, and the worlds. But I, I mean, I think what I can definitely say is that um, it's, it's unlike anything we've experienced or seen before. So even when I, I remember doing the narration for this through COVID, and Nagi was on Zoom and I was on the other end. And um, I think much like uh, Kamal sir said, you know, you can see, you could see sparks of genius in him, even though this is just his second or third movie. Um, you could tell that it was, as he was narrating, there wasn't much on paper, but it was all in his mind. And every time he spoke and you look, and even now, when you look into his eyes, you can see that, you know, the entire visual of what he's envisioned over the years is so clear. And that's the only time, and I mean it in a good way, where you actually hear him speak and speak so articulately because that's the one thing that he's just completely consumed by and, you know, passionate about. And, um, but yes... Uh, I mean, I, I really don't know, very honestly to your question, I don't know how much I can and cannot say, but yes, I, 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 I play the mother and uh, yeah, and then the movie is out on the 27th for everyone to discover the rest of it. So welcome to Telugu cinema, that I guess I have to say that to you in some ways. Yeah. Are you going to do more films? I mean, sure, Back if, if, if the audience would like me to, sure. Awesome, thank you. So we have a little tradition that Telugu cinema follows and we thought we should bring it here along. I'd like to give it to my colleague, my dear friend, and my brother Kamal Hassan. Whoa! And he had given me the first day for show ticket of Shole. I had, <laughs> I had to wait for three weeks to see that film. <laughs> I hope there are many more fans who would wait those three weeks to see this film, like I did Shole. And uh, I, I never thought I'd be here to re receive a first day for a show uh, ticket from Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. I was a film technician. Now I'm an actor. Nothing has changed. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to say a few words about this wonderful gentleman. He's the owner of Pujanti Films, along with his two daughters. And uh, I have never met a more simple, humble human being than Ashwini sir. Every time we were on set, he's the first person to be there. He's at the airport to receive you. Or jab kabhi bhi koi aisa hum kaam kar rahe ho, jahan par aisa lage unko ki ye isko nahi karna chahiye, itni taklif hogi. Nahi nahi, ye stunt mat karwaiye in se. Achha, ap precaution liya ki nahi liya. Nobody thinks like this. Thank you so much, sir. And with all due respect, sir, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. And that's the end of the evening. Enjoy Kalki. Thank you. Thank you to every single one of you all on stage.